What's up? Good morning, Chanel Marie Level Up Performance. We're gonna get started with a full body workout. No weights required, body weight only. So grab your mat, grab some water, and follow along. All right, let's get started with that warm up. Legs apart, we're just gonna start with the squat, nice and low. As I push my hips back, the weight goes into my heels, chest stays up, and I'm gonna get a little lower each time I squat down. We're gonna warm up for about two minutes. Our workout today is 20 minutes long. Rest when you need to. Legs even wider. Shift one direction, leaving one leg straight, pushing back and bending into the other leg. Again, pushing those hips back. Weight should be in the heel and your knee should not be moving forward past your toes. Stretch out those groins. So it's a full body exercise uh, program today. Abs, cardio, legs, upper body. Put your left leg in the front, right leg back. Sink those hips down nice and low. Push those uh, hips forward, lean back. Stretch out your right leg, that hip flexor. If you want to drop it all the way down to the bottom, you can do that. If at any time you need to stick with a stretch longer, please feel free to do so. This is your warm up. Go one more time each side. Let's get some arm circles going. I want you to take your thumbs, bring them out to the side behind you, and then as you rotate, push them downward. So you're gonna be rounding your back, stretching out between your shoulder blades. Big circles, go backwards. Thumbs pointing behind you, stretching out that chest. All right, we're gonna get started with a close stance and wide stance squat. So bring those legs close. Nice and close, bring those legs wide. We're just gonna alternate between the two. So you face you. We're here for a minute. Try to get that booty all the way back, sink those hips nice and low. Starting out with some legs today. I'm gonna to follow this up with a unilateral leg exercise, which means single leg. Good. Left foot is the lead leg. You're gonna drop that right foot back into a lunge. Come up and kick it. We're gonna switch legs. Two, one. Right foot's the lead leg. Reverse that foot back. Let's get some upper body in there. Meet me on your mat. I want you in the high plank push-up position. You can push up from your knees or your toes. Okay, but you're gonna push up, jump to your feet, and we're gonna mountain climber for four. If you wanna go from your toes, please push yourself. You can always drop back down to your knees if you need to. If you are going from your knees, make sure your knees are wide and you bring your booty with you to the ground. Okay, don't keep that booty up in the air. Almost there.
last one. Okay, I want you on your side, knees bent on your elbow. You're gonna lift those hips and lift your leg out at the same time. So up and up. It's gonna work your obliques and your glutes. Hold for a second at the top. I'm gonna switch. Excellent, switch sides. On that elbow, left hip. Feel that glute. Last one. Excellent, high plank position. Legs nice and wide, hips nice and level to the ground. We're gonna roll those hands back. Right into a... The more activated your core is, okay? If this is hurting, you can modify to your knees. Just make sure your booty's not up in the air. Keep those hips nice and level. We're gonna kick it up a notch with a modified burpee. So no push up and no jumping, ready? We go up, stand, down, back. If you wanna step it back and step it up, that's your modification. Rest. Rest for a second. We're gonna move on, grab a sip of water if you need to. We're gonna go back to our legs. We're gonna do a lateral lunge. Bring that leg around into a curtsy lunge or a curtsy squat. Okay, that's gonna be your next exercise, catch your breath. This will probably be the only break we get. All right. So I'm gonna lunge to the right side first. And curtsy. These exercises work the outer glute muscles, the glute medius and minimus. Excellent, a little bit more than halfway. Find yourself on the mat. We're gonna start with a shuffle. Start at one end of your mat, legs nice and wide. You wanna shuffle it back and forth. Drop that booty down, keep your chest up. Woo, shake it out. Find yourself on the other side where my screen is. And we're gonna laterally lunge to the left and then curtsy. Make sure that one leg stays nice and straight. If you see me from the side, my hips are in the um, back behind me, weights in the heel and wiggling my toes. 
back is nice and flat. Almost there. Excellent, let's pick it up with the jumping jack. Back down your mat. It's called the bear plank. Hands underneath your shoulders, toes behind you, knees underneath your hips, a couple inches off the ground. You're gonna stabilize. You just touch each shoulder one at a time, trying not to rock back and forth. Excellent. Back in the high plank. We're going to rotate, kick that leg out, and come right back to center and switch sides. You need a modification, just bring your knee up. If you don't want to lift your arm up, just switch knees. Excellent. Come on up. Left foot in front, right leg right where the heel is. You're gonna squat down and squat up. So modify single leg squat, pushing those hips back. I want you to pick up your pace. I wish you'd stay, but there you go. I have so much I wanna say. If you want to advance, you can take that back foot up and just balance on that single leg. Up to you. Good, switch legs, right foot in front, left toe right where that right heel is. Same thing. Really push from that heel and feel it in that right glute. You're gonna act like you're pushing the ground away with that heel. Almost there. Nice work. Go ahead and stand up, shake it off. Start with your legs apart. We're gonna do switch lunges. If you don't wanna jump, you can tap it. Use those arms. Short enough, we're just gonna jog it out. You can step it or march it if you want. Get that heart rate up. Good, shake it out. 
Grab a quick sip of water, no break. And meet me on the mat, on your booties. Legs behind you, fingers facing the same direction as your toes. We're gonna lift it up to reverse plank. Lift up, come back down. I'm on the heels of my toe, uh, uh, heels on my feet, and lift up, come back down. If your legs are, or sorry, if your arms are too far behind you, you might feel tension in the front of your shoulder. Bring those arms in closer. One more. Good. On your mat. We're going to go into a V up. Bring those knees up. Your lower, your upper body comes up just a second before your lower body. It's going to help balance you out a little bit on the way up. Last one. Excellent. Heels underneath your knees, palms facing up. You're gonna bridge up, squeezing those glutes, and back down. Again, you're pushing from your heel all the way up. Squeeze, hold, back down. Make sure that you tuck that pelvis under. You don't wanna see any light under your lumbar. So tuck that pelvis, lift up, and squeeze. Good, a little bit more than halfway. Hold up the top. Last one. Hold. Keep holding. Excellent. Let's flip over into that plank position. Legs nice and wide. We're going to walk our hands out and in. You're gonna feel that core tighten when our arms are out extended in front of us. Couple more. Excellent. Five plank, legs close together. Gonna jump it out and jump it in. You can step it out and step it in if you don't want to jump. And if you're from your knees, I want you to kick it out to the sides. We're really gonna finish this workout with a lot of core. Keep those hips high. Excellent. Back on your booty, all the way down. Legs and arms are extended. We're gonna crunch it in as tight as we can. And then back out. Don't let your arms or your legs touch the ground. We're here for a whole minute. If you need to modify, you can kick your legs up. That's gonna take less tension off of your abs and your lower back. Our last minute, we're gonna focus on that booty. Go ahead and flip over on those elbows. Elbows underneath your shoulders. You're going to kick up towards the ceiling, bring it back over your leg on the opposite side, back up and straight down. So up and over on that opposite leg. Switch legs. Good job, guys. You're almost there. Good 
Good. Nice work. Go ahead and get those legs out to the side. We're going to sink back. Make sure your legs and hips are wide enough so that your hips fit between those, uh, between those knees. Arms outstretched in front of you. And rotate side to side. Bring one leg in front. Push those hips forward, lean the upper body back. Switch sides. So we did 20 minutes today. A little bit of a cool down. Stick with me for the cool down. If you need a longer cool down when the video's over, please, please do so. Go ahead and stand up. Legs wide. Push those hips back. You should feel stretching those hamstrings. Back is nice and flat. Let that back round at the bottom. Go ahead and hang. Bicycle those heels to the ground if you need to. Come up nice and slow. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, if you need more cool down, please do so. But you really don't need a huge hour and a half exercise regime. 20 minutes a day, walking, eating right, your body you will see changes if your goal is fat loss. But I drop videos all the time, so please subscribe, like, leave me a comment. I appreciate you being here with me. I'm working on my fitness goals with you. Shell Marie Level Up Performance. See you later.